afternoon, legislators. I just have a couple issues I want to bring up. I'll bring them up quickly because I only get three minutes, not three hours that I really need. But um, this is this is important because things are honestly getting a lot worse, and they should not be. All right, the lateness of the buses is getting absolutely ridiculous. I took four buses this week. Not one of them were on time, and not one of them was, dur were, were, was during the actual time of day that, as the LIRR would say, is peak time of the day. I had a bus that I was waiting for that was supposed to show up at 11.55 in the morning. As usual, the translock did not work correctly, so I called EBT. While I'm on the phone with EBT, he tells me he's running a half hour late. There should be no reason for it. Didn't really care what the reason was. It should not be running a half hour late. If it's running a half hour late, there's something wrong with the scheduling. While I'm waiting at the bus stop, which, by the way, there is no sign there because it's been missing for three years, and I gave that list three years ago and nothing's been done, the bus driver passed me by while I'm on the phone talking with DPW. Thank God the uh, dispatcher was nice enough that he sent the scat bus out to pick me up and personally take me to the mall. I then took that bus back home again. That bus had 20 people on it. The lady in front of me has two young kids, has a, uh, a stroller, and a whole big thing of Pampers. And she's trying to get on the bus and pay. And I'm waiting behind her. And of course, the bus driver's late. So he's taking off. And I could have just fallen in and had a lawsuit. I'm not into lawsuits. I'm into getting the right buses. It's gotten to the point that it's so bad that the Federal Transportation Administration has told me they are sending somebody up to anonymously, anonymously ride these Airbach buses and see for themselves how they are not ADA compliant. And then if when they find that out, then I will file a civil rights lawsuit because it is a civil rights lawsuit if it is not ADA compliant. Enough of that. Okay? My biggest problem is that there is no consistency between the bus operators and DPW. DPW will tell you one thing and then blame it on the bus operators, and the bus operators will blame it back on DPW. Well, here's my point. Suffolk County runs the buses. It's called Suffolk County Transit. It's not called Suffolk Bus Transit. It's not called EBT Transit. Suffolk Transit needs to run the system. They tell me that they tell the bus drivers when they want, you know, the bus companies, when they want the buses to run and, and how many blah, blah, blah. And then they leave it up to the, to the bus companies. So if there's an issue and I go to the, to the county, they tell me you got to go to the bus operator. The bus operator says, we only do what the county tells us. Something has to be done. This is absolutely a joke. I hate to say it, but it is. And, we'll, and one quick last thing. Why did the nice buses show up at Babylon yesterday? Four big nice buses because they have a contract to pick up the, pe the MTA workers that are working on the Long Island Railroad tracks between Suffolk and Nassau County. Why don't we have the contract so we can put the money into our transit system? Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. And thank you for being part of the bus riders uh, committee also, because your comments are, are going to be helpful there also.